Welcome to the Unitarian Universalist Congregation at Shelter Rock and this video message. I'm Reverend Jay Brooks, and I'm delighted to share with you today a poem by Joy Harjo, who is America's Poet Laureate. Joy Harjo is a member of the Muscogee Nation, and she writes from deeply embedded roots in her Native American tradition. This poem for today, which is called Bless This Land, is from her 2017 book, An American Sunrise. In this book, Joy writes, until the passage of the Indian Religious Freedom Act in 1978, it was illegal for Native citizens to practice our culture. This included the making and sharing of songs and stories Songs and stories in one culture are poetry and prose in another. They're intrinsic to cultural sovereignty. To write or create as a native person was essentially illegal. So it wasn't until 1978 when Joy Harjo was well into adulthood that the law changed to allow her to write poetry in the Muscogee tradition. Today's poem, Bless This Land, uses the voices of the natural world to speak of the land we inhabit today. The Muscogee word that ends the poem, muto, means thank you. May we all be grateful to the interdependent web of existence of which we are a part. Here's the poem. Bless this land from the top of its head to the bottom of its feet, from the Arctic old white head to the brown feet of tropical rain. Bless the eyes of this land, for they witness cruelty and kindness in this land. From sunrise light upright to falling down on your knees night. Bless the ears of this land, for they hear cries of heartbreak and shouts of celebration in this land. Once we heard no gunshot on these lands, the trees and stones can be heard singing. Bless the mouth, lips, and speech of this land. For the land is a speaker, a singer, a keeper of all that happens here on this land. Luminous forests, oceans, and rock cliff, sold for the trash glut of gold, uranium, or oil bust rush. Yet there are new stories to be made little ones coming up over the horizon. Bless the arms and hands of this land, for they remake and restore beauty in this land. We were held in the circle around these lands by song and reminded by the knowers that not one is over the other, no human above the bird, no bird above the insect, no wind above the grass. Bless the heart of this land, on its knees and planting food beneath the eternal circle of breathing, swimming, and walking this land. The heart is a poetry maker. There is one heart, said the poetry maker, one body, and all poems make one poem, and we do not use words to make war on this land. Bless the gut labyrinth of this land, for it is the center of unknowing in this land. Bless the femaleness and maleness of this land, for each holds the fluent power of becoming in this land. When it was decided to be in this manner here, in this place, 
this land. All the birds made a birdly racket from indigo sky holes. Bless the two legs and two feet of this land. For the sacred always walks beside the profane in this land. These words walk the backbone of this land, massaging the tissue around the cord of life, which is the tree of life, upon which this land stands. Bless the destruction of this land, for new shoots will rise up from fire, floods, earthquakes, and fierce winds to make new this land. We are land on turtle's back. When the weight of greed overturns us, who will recall the upright song of this land? Bless the creation of new land. For out of chaos, we will be compelled to remember this land, to remember to bless this land. The smallest one remembered, the most humble one, the one whose voice you'd have to lean in a thousand years to hear, we will begin there. Bless us these lands, said the rememberer, these lands aren't our lands. These lands aren't your lands. We are this land. And the blessing began, a graceful moving through the grasses of time. From the beginning to the circling around place of time, always moving, always, muto. Muto, Muto, Muto.